We got it right this time. Hi, lady. I know you're in the other room. That's funny. Anyway. <laughs> we did it! We did it. We did it. How do you like that title? Yeah, really good. This is how, that's like just, I walk around with that disclaimer. I'm not good with technology, so. <laughs> yeah. Yay, we figured it out. Oh, there's Zafi again. Hi, Zafi. Hi, Zafi. Ride or die. She's an OG, man. Just like you. Right? You're trying. Looking, you're looking very like a mountainous. Yeah, I was going to, I was on the walk over here. I was thinking, man, I wish I had had time to shave. I think, but oh well. I mean, you this had time. Just you just did it for many months yeah. now. Like, <laughs> this yeah, is, this, this is wasn't just today, time. that's for sure. <laughs> well, it's looking good. I like it. It's cold over there, right? Uh, it's tepid. It's chilly. Not like freezing or anything. Oh, you're actually getting fall? That's nice. Yeah, finally. I mean, it was pretty cold at one point, but it's kind of come back to a little bit of the fall, so it's little waves we'll see what happens yeah i mean it's still just warm here welcome to the west coast yeah but you're getting all that sunshine i am loving all that sunshine i needed the vitamin right? d yeah i decided to do this standing up so i had more energy oh you know, i like that okay where are you coming from uh everywhere um today i i worked at four in the morning and well, no, I got up at four, but I, I was at work at like uh, six and then uh, took care of audition notices and stuff like that. And then tried to squeeze in a small workout. And uh, I haven't done that in far too long. So um, I'm feeling it. It's kind of the first thing to go when you're busy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hi, Laura. Hi, Colin. <laughs> Hello, people. I'm just hitting this wave button. Is that all right? I don't know if that's something that I should do or if it's getting obnoxious for them. I but... truly don't know. I think like I don't know either. Hype. It's hype. Let's all get hype for this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can wave like this. <laughs> like in I don't real know life. If that matters, like but... IRL, and right? you're like waving. Um, no, I, just... to wave. I love that. You know, everyone on our team is doing so many things all at once. You all work and have very different jobs. You're all multi-talented and you're doing this and super creative. Like you and um, Zafi have like really been like our great problem solvers. You've had like really amazing ideas. So I'm, I'm so grateful for that. I feel like uh, all these all-nighters that I've been pulling on like my brain doesn't have anything else interesting to offer to anybody else. <laughs> I can't imagine how you are still trudging along. I'd say, let's just talk about whatever. And, you know, don't, you know, take a break for a second because we got the link up there. For everyone watching, there is a link on the, the subject line. Please look at it. Link, yes. Click it even. Yeah. Um, well, now I don't, I, I guess I can't, I can't see anybody who's um, coming up. I can't see any of the people who are joining. So hi, if you're here for, for me, like, cause I, I guess what we're learning is that like it. Say hi to Matt Miller. I just oh. saw Matt Miller's. Hi, Matt Miller. There you go. Look at that. Hi. I'll just cue you. Thank we'll you. Just... Okay, that's good. I, I yeah. want to see everybody, but I, I it doesn't work on here. So <laughs> that's okay, though. Um, yeah, for anybody who's joining, though, we're here to talk about Ready Records and really mostly just to talk about Clayton, um, which it's true. This is that's the point of this. Surprise. I... It's all about you. Hi. Hey, Tim. <laughs> um. Yeah, you know, we're making a short film. We're crowdfunding for a short film. So the link for the Season Spark page, that's where you can go and pledge. It's all or nothing. Either we get $30,000 or we get nothing. 
thus far we're at like 43, 44% um, funded, which is really amazing. Um, we have seven more days to get completely funded. Um, but I honestly have a lot of faith. There you go. I have a, <laughs> I have a lot of faith. Um, and I also, I believe in the people who are making this and Clayton is one of them. And so I just want to come on here and like have Clayton like show off and be the amazing Clayton that he is, even when he's tired. And I appreciate him for being here, even though he's There's another thing you can be aside from tired. <laughs> right, right. Um, will you talk to us a little bit about um, why this project interested you? Um, I'm going to level and I'm also going to promote for everybody who's watching right now. We've got, I think, a count of seven. I think we can take it up a notch. You guys who are watching can actually invite other people to come join this live stream. Uh, I will do the same if it doesn't cut out to the live stream because I've never done this before and I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, so no, no. bear with I me. Think, but, danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Right. Here we go. Oh. Did I lose you? Is everybody still here? We're still here. Oh, man. Look at this. I am inviting people See, as I'm I, talking to I you. I wish I could do that. I don't. Well, maybe I can do it on my laptop I, at the same time. And there's there's a button thingy. So I'm just going to keep talking. There's a button thingy? I'll, there's a button thingy. You know. <laughs> but, you know the technical the term, guys, of the button thingy. Yeah. I mean, that's that's how doctors refer to this stuff. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> As I, as I um, press buttons here, I'm going to advocate that everyone do the same. Hit that invite thing. And I'm going to explain that a <laughs> real simple answer. I'm gonna advocate and some oh. people say, hit that invite thing. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm, making, I'm making you it's echo. Ghost. It's a ghost of the machine. It's the ghost oh, of no. you. <laughs> so... Um, the really simple, yeah. Safi says you should be able to do it too. So I think I now that I'm horizontal, I cannot. But I am trying to figure out how to do it on the laptop. Okay. There's a, I mean, there's a little person thing, and then it's got an arrow going like that way. Mm -hmm. I think it's just meant to be like pass it on, so everybody can pass it on. Um, I like my very that. Simple answer, some of you received an email from me about this. Uh, whether you opened it or not, I don't know. Whether you read it or not, I don't know. Um, but if you did, there was a video attachment that probably f sounded very similar to what I'm about to say. So apologies for the repetition, but uh, maybe I'll get better at saying it. Doing that. Um, Practice makes The simple answer is I like to support my friends. Uh, I had a friend ask me for help with something. I, as much as I like to help my friends, I have a hard time asking for help. So I can sort of imagine that Ciara also is not somebody that enjoys having to ask for help. And so I can only imagine what it was like for her to ask me. And therefore I thought I'm going to value that courage. I'm going to embrace it. And I'm going to try to extend it to other people that I know. Um, Cause that's really as simple as it gets. I think that we like to help each other. Um, I know that I do. And if this is helping me live streaming and rambling is helping, then I'm going to do it. And hopefully you all will get something out of it and want to contribute to the campaign. Um, I mean, every little bit helps, you know, it doesn't need to be the gajillion dollar donation, but if you have a gajillion so dollars it, yeah. uh, and that real number, we'll take it. So gajillion, why not? Gajillion works. Um, uh, this is also a good learning experience for me because I've written some of my own stuff and ideally Amazing I might try to stuff. produce it someday. Amazing stuff. Uh, well, well, we'll see about mm. that. But in any case, you know, I just want to, um, this is good practice as far as like if I were to go the crowdfunding route and figuring out, you know, what clicks or doesn't click with people about this sort of stuff. That sentence apparently did not click as we just lost a viewer. <laughs> so. <laughs> It's okay. You guys are busy. We know. We know. Thank you, Colin. Thank you so much. So much. Colin's passing it on. I'm going to keep on pushing invite buttons because it's still letting me. Unlike when I try to promote the uh, or invite people to the event because I only get 50 of those. I know. Which is strange. It's, I don't know. 
Facebook changes every day, guys. And when you are a social media influencer or you're using social media to get the word out about something or maybe you have a business or something and you use uh, Facebook or Instagram as like your main source of marketing, it's a pretty crazy job. Things change every single day. The apps change on your phone, um, what's allowed and kind of the rules change on the actual sites themselves. Um, the way the algorithms shift every once in a while, often actually. So it's, it's an ever-changing game that we're playing because we just want to get this information out to you guys so that you can make whatever decision you want about it. But it's first just getting your eyes on it, which is why we are so, help, or we are so grateful if anyone wants to share. Or I don't know why I'm gesticulating with this pen. I just picked it up. I, <laughs> um, yeah, that's, but if I you want to share right? the campaign, that's honestly just as helpful as if you were to help us um, with a contribution. Um, crazed animal shape. Agreed, Colin. <laughs> yes, Colin. Agreed. <laughs> um, what, uh, yeah. For the six people, five, man, we're dwindling. I'm inviting more people and we're dwindling. No, don't, don't, don't think that we're dwindling, honestly, because the thing is, it doesn't actually like accurately show you exactly how many people are watching. Also, people are jumping in and out pretty constantly. So like, <laughs> they're getting a lot of your fingers right now. That's a fair point. <laughs> Break the up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a lot. Yeah. Because, oh, man, the camera's still on when I'm doing that. I didn't even realize. Um, That's very true. What about some questions from those that are viewing? I feel like let's make it more yeah, interactive. Yeah, people can ask questions. We're always down for that. Um, I actually just was doing a live with Nathan Reed. What did you say? Oh, Amanda Gruber. Hi, Amanda Gruber. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> what, what's Nathan up to? Um, Matt he's Miller, actually what are we he. For? We we have a, a link we... for uh, the short film that we're trying to produce, buddy. It's uh it's in the subject line, and if you want, I will bombard you as soon as we're done here with more information, if you'd like. But uh, uh, she can do a better pitch than I can, and she has a pitch video on the campaign page, which is linked at the top of this Ew. thing. What do we call this? Live stream. Live stream. Stream live. Yeah. Extreme life. Roadhouse. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, can we pin the link? Uh, oh, I think you have to do that, right? Oh, man. Here comes an adventure. Here we go. Pinning We're links. learning so many things today. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> oh, I miss you and Lucy. Um, so there's a... Th oh, maybe that's not pinning links. Let's see what that is. I think you have to comment and then type it into a comment. And then once you comment it, you can push on it and then pin it along. It's really all about learning and having new opportunities. You have changed colors. Look at this. <laughs> Did I pin something? No? Yes? Yes? Very, very the Blues, Blues Brothers. Yeah. We're on a mission from God. Get some, get some <laughs> funding. Um, I don't know how to get out of this. That's weird. Well, I think you're stuck that way now. Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> oh man, everything's so bright and colorful. Wait, how, how do you do another one? I want to see. Do more. Wait, what? Okay. Well, this is like Snapchat on, let me, let me or something. What are the What do the young folks do? What do the what do them young whippersnappers do these days? These these shenanigans, Can you put a hat these tomfooleries. That's a fair question. Uh, All right, go. does that count, Zafi? Did I just? Uh... You have to pin it now. Oh. So like, put your finger on it, hold it, and then it'll say pin tweet. Okay. Or pin comment. Done. Look at that. Guys, I'm mixing up my social media now happened. at this point. You did it. I did it, Booyah. and uh, as a result of oh, that, he really did it, guys. I think uh, I'm gonna... I did it. Wait, wait, That's wait. What just happened. Okay, wait. I'm trying to take a screenshot. Got it. You can't do this. <laughs> oh no. No, I can't. You have all the options. I don't think I have any options here. 
But That's I love so that. Lame. This stream is about you, Clayton. Will you okay. tell us? Will you tell us a little bit about yourself? What are you working on besides this? Uh, I'm I'm presently juggling four different gigs. Uh, I the classic restaurant thing that people do. Um, oh yeah, this is the one right here. Look at this. I think that's the one. Um, the restaurant thing, stage tech at a local theater that's federally funded. So technically, I work for the government. Um, a, I sometimes work the door at a bar, uh, which is you know lovely and ironic, considering I'm not a very large gentleman. Um, and I work at a ninja warrior gym part time. And then you know, there's this acting thing, this addiction that I like to do from time to time. When I'm not writing stuff for people. So, like what? Writing what? Uh, but yeah, like like what writing or like what acting or what what what? Which what's? <laughs> what do you write? Oh, I wish I could grab you just then. Your eyes were like stuck in this flutter mode. Oh no. He's back. It's getting choppy. Yeah, I yeah. think I gotta take this filter off because I think it's making things choppy. <laughs> Overtaxing the bandwidth. Yeah, or just my old cell phone. Um, but yeah, what was your what was your what? What are you writing? What do you write? What? Uh, well. Um, I have a short film that's probably the one that I would likely try to produce um, after all this is said and done. It's admittedly a bit of a fan film. I'm kind of a diehard Ghostbuster kid. Um, but at the same time, I wrote it to be as not plagiarizing as possible. So um, even when I was writing it, I was trying to imagine ways that we could shoot without necessarily shoving Ghostbusters in people's faces. So they're, so it, it could stand on its own as a nice little short film. But then when it's all said and done, they're like, oh yeah, that was a Ghostbuster film too, neat. And they can appreciate it all over again. Oh. Um, and that one just kind of came from a really simple, initially there was a sketch idea. It was the idea of how funny would it be if, uh, if I just walked around in a Ghostbusters jumpsuit and went to like some blue collar bars and next to like, you know, plumbers, electricians and, and these, you know, the grunts and, and, um, you know, just was like, Oh man, work, right? Jesus. You know, cause these guys are, cause that's what a ghostbuster is or a glorified exterminator. So, you know, and that, that was the fun and the joke and the humor of ghostbusters is that these guys are, you know, they have PhDs and they're super intelligent but they're also just slackers who've slumped into doing blue collar work. Not that there's anything wrong with blue collar work, just saying, but that's what the job became. And so I just thought it'd be funny to um, see how people would react to that. And then uh, originally that, well, eventually that idea um, kind of lost my interest because I'm less interested in a prank or a sketch um, where I'm messing with people as much as I'm interested in story and narrative. So instead, I started to ask myself, what is, what are the circumstances that would justify that sort of encounter? And so that's what the basis of my screenplay was. And then it kind of snowballed into an actual like short film, three act structure. Uh, that's probably about 12 pages. So not impossible, not out of control. I tend to try to write within reason. Um, I try to write within means. So... Uh, knowing that again, it's a good short. I didn't go out of my way to have like obnoxious proton pack laser battles or anything like that. It's pretty dialogue centric. That's pretty cool, though. I feel like a lot of people in the industry um, they warn against like having people sit and just talk, which to me is such a weird thing because that happens every day, all day. I mean, what are we doing right now? We're just sitting and talking. We're not blasting laser guns Absolutely. or anything like that. Uh, I mean, I think the, uh, the only real 
distinction is as long as it moves the story forward, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but that's also something that I learned through not just writing, but also doing improv uh, all these years. And it's just one of my biggest fears when I'm performing. Eventually, I was doing, uh, I was with a troupe that originally was three people and eventually became two people. And when you have three people, there's so much more kinetic energy. There's so much more freedom. If two of us are on stage and the scene starts to suck, the third person can come right on by, wipe the scene, and we'll just start something new and pretend that it wasn't so bad. Uh, when you have two of you, you're kind of just constantly looking at the other being like, so this is going bad. Do you want to wipe it or should I wipe it? Or we're, just, wipe okay, it. we're going to keep going. <laughs> um, and so... And so um, my biggest fear has always been talking heads. Hi, JP. Um, just two people, you know, like this forever. On, especially when you're doing improv. I mean, improv, you, you're not limited to, well, we have this set. It has to be a pirate scene. There's a pirate set. It can be anything. So why would you, I mean, even if you're just two people talking, you might as well be two people talking while you're fixing a, a satellite in outer space. You might as well be two people talking uh, while a volcano is erupting behind you, you know? Um, and more to, the, more to the point is if you're, if you're doing an improv scene, um, and this, I think this also benefits in the writing as well, you don't write about, hey, Todd, 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 you don't write about... Um, or you don't make the scene about exactly what you're doing. So like if you and I did a scene and we were in 7-Eleven and the scene is in 7-Eleven, I'm not gonna talk to you about what I'm gonna get out of the cooler over here. I'm not gonna say like, oh man, iced tea brisk, this is great. Oh, let's get some Doritos over here. Boy, don't you like this coffee? No, it's boring. You yeah, know, we'd be right. talking about, I can't believe she said that to you. I would have smacked her sideways if she talked to me like that. Violent. I just grab it. Violent. No, just talking about like people are talking about what's going on in their lives or whatever right. versus what's going on in the moment in the room. So yeah, absolutely. it's more interesting to me. So, yeah, I mean, in, in my script right now, my guy is going to that blue collar bar, but we don't know why he's gone to the blue collar bar until the, the scene progresses. So there's like a, so, there's a twist. There's a surprise. There's an ulterior motive. Yeah. Ooh. I think so. See, this is, a, this is um, the amazing thing. I have, I'm surrounded by people who are doing exactly the stuff that I want to be doing and that I am going to be so happy to support in return because like I, I, like I was saying on the live with Nathan, like this is all about community. This is all about creating opportunities for each other and building a network of people so that we can all support each other and, and be making new and interesting things. I mean, I think we all know that we've seen kind of a lot of the same, <laughs> the same but different, you know? And in some ways, storytelling is always kind of that, but wouldn't it be cool if we just got some new people telling stories and we saw some new faces and we had some new circumstances to live in? And I think like everyone that I'm surrounded by who is so, I'm so grateful to have and being a part of this um, team, they're all about creating something new and interesting and fresh and sometimes fun and sometimes super moving and sometimes both. and. I think that's really freaking cool. It's all about the revolution, and the revolution is nothing without people. People. So. <laughs> say, say it like that again real quick. People. <laughs> oh, my oh, gosh. I might be a little punch drunk. Anybody watching have any questions or anything they want to spout out about? Ooh, Hello, I think Allie. Colin asked, what's your favorite album? Was that to me or to her? I think you can answer. Um, mm, that's a tough call. Uh, I, to this day, can listen to pretty much any Elliot Smith at any time. Uh, past that point, if my iTunes is any indicator, there is 
a uh, score to a film called Stay. Um, and the score is done by a duo named Ashe and Spencer. And according to my iTunes, I think I've listened to that album easily into the 3000s. Mm. I mean, just I'll listen to it before I go to sleep at night. I'll listen. The whole way through? It, it's like the ambient sound. Whole way through. Yeah. I mean, there are songs that I like and I prefer over others. But in general, it's just this great ambiance uh, score. And from what I could gather from the um, <laughs> Matt Miller, anything by Sting. No, not anything by Sting. Uh, <laughs> Sting's great. I like Sting enough. I, can, I don't ha own anything of his. But, um, but yeah, the, uh, the Stay score, to my understanding, these guys basically just played, just played a bunch of stuff. And they sort of cherry-picked, uh, which portions of what they recorded would end up in various places of the film, which I thought was also really neat. Oh. Yeah, they kind of went wild before the film was even done. And the director, uh, the director, oh, of course I'm blanking on his name. It's the same guy who did um, Finding Neverland and um, okay. Chain Gun Preacher. I can't think of his name. It's killing me. But uh, yeah, what about you? Everyone? Me? Um, you know, when you were just saying that, I was like, albums I listened the whole way through. Uh, In the Heights? Okay. And also, um, is a musical theater person. Yeah. If you guys didn't know that. So it's musical theater. Um, and also, because like, I won't listen to it for a long time, and then like one of the songs will come up, and then I will be like, I forgot how much I love this, and then I just start listening to the entire thing. There's like two songs in there that I'm like, oh, I don't really want to listen to these songs, but generally speaking, it's it's a masterpiece. So, <laughs> um, but also, uh, Interstellar five 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 Daft Punk. Is it Discovery? Oh, gotcha. Right. Gotcha. Discovery is the name of the album, but Interstellar 5555 is the name of the... Because you can watch... It's a movie that they set to all their songs. It's an anime. Sure. And I love anime, so that's just like... You'll one have to send that to me. Oh, you've never seen it? She loves anime, people. No. Me too. So, so you check this anime? out. You're about to... Because my battery was dying. I'm shifting. I, I had to plug in. And you're going to okay. see behind me exactly what I was using as the setup so that I could stand while doing this. And it is <laughs> two boxes, a CD case thing, uh, a TV tray, and a chair. And that's this also is what I mean when I say auditions of this is creative, that there. creative problem solver. This is what I mean, guys. Creative problem solver. Survivalist. We need more guys like you. Thank you for that. <laughs> yes, Daft Punk. I love that. Um, you got an alien and a heart for Matt Miller. <laughs> do you um do you watch a lot of anime, Clayton? I haven't watched all that much. I did uh when I was a kid, Dragon Ball Z would come on on Sundays, so I would I would watch that some, but I wouldn't be able to follow it. I was like, what? I don't know what's going on. Do, where, where I mean, it was kind of the same story for like uh, at least fifty episodes. Just someone really holding yeah. a Tommy Hobbit for 50 um, episodes. I dated somebody. Who, I dated somebody who, for uh, a point, got me to watch. And I don't say got me to, like I was fighting them on it, but um, <laughs> we watched pretty much the entire series of Evangelion. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. What is it? Um. I want to say Evangelion, might be Evangelion. I think it's Gellion. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, it was amazing and it was brilliant and it was freaky. Um, mm. But it was, yeah, it's, it's a pretty wild story. It's like, um, it's like that Pacific Rim movie to some extent. Oh, I, I love that. On that? Yeah. Uh, but evangelion is what uh matt miller's telling me is called Sorry. i hope he's right but uh, um i've actually not yeah, seen that yeah. one so instead of instead of the whole like duel you got to have two pilots in their the melding necessarily it's um they have they have to be kids they have to be like um i want to say <laughs> just pre i forget the exact age i want to say preteen or like 12 or 13 like hitting adolescence yeah and um, they they plug in and they and the thing is is that 
these these mammoth things that they built mm -hmm. are actually part of the monsters. They like sort of retrofitted the monsters so that they could connect. And so these kids are like going into this. I think their I've mind actually is happening seen this. The realize it. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's actually a lot of There's anime. Of... There's a bunch of continuated movies to my knowledge. I don't know how they tie into the continuity, but um, I saw like two of them, I think. And the, uh, the final episode of the series is just wild. It's like the, the author and the artist just said, screw it. Let's just do something else. <laughs> and it, it's what, I mean, it's, it's a, the whole, you know, the show, these characters are dealing with their issues and each other and, and what all this means and everything like that. And then the final episode, they're like, you know what? We're not doing any monsters. We're not doing any attacks. We're literally just going to go into the kid's head. And that's where the whole episode is. That's really cool. That kind of makes me think about yeah, Ender's it's... Game. Do you ever read that? I haven't read it. My, my improv partner loves it. I think he had like five copies of it yeah. last time I checked. It's pretty amazing. But also like it's like very psychological and – I like was trying to read it. Um, I was doing a show in Chicago and I was like reading it every night. And then I was like having so much anxiety about it. Cause it's like, hmm. it's so psychological, but it's like these little kids who are like being trained for war, which is pretty crazy. But um, yeah, I like, now I want to like sit down and make you watch a bunch of anime with me. <laughs> I mean, we have to be, All right, I'll, be I'll in be right the... over. Oh, you know what? We don't even have to be in the same state. Have you ever heard of something called rabbit? Nope. So you can watch things. I actually do this with my best friend because we've we've not lived in the same state since we left college. So um, we will just watch their YouTube videos or we'll pick a movie or whatever. And it, it can support from like Netflix and stuff like that. And it just live streams it. So you're both watching it at the same exact time and you can comment to each other and talk and stuff. So we oh can watch God. anime like that. We might have to do that. Um I kind of love <laughs> hate that that exists but like, that's just i mean if we're far apart like no i get it i get yeah. it but it's also just like hey i haven't seen you in forever we should catch up or or hear me out let's live stream netflix together i mean that's honestly i don't know i feel like that's kind of the best way to spend time with people sometimes it's like especially if you're like sometimes. tired and you're like i don't really want to talk but i want your presence coexist with me <laughs> yeah but I, I mean i also i i don't know i've, I've kind of hit that like mild bitterness i'm i can brush it off but even at the restaurant i i go to my coworkers sometimes and i'll just be like hey do you want to like maybe go out and get some dinner sometime sit at a table next to each or in front of each other and then stare at our phones <laughs> i think that'd be a good time because <laughs> that's all I see. that's literally all i see it's crazy. It's a crazy world that we live in. We do, this is how we connect though. I mean, there's a lot of really good about connecting via social media oh, because- Thanks, Nathan. We, hi, hi, Nathan. Um, we're able to connect with people that we would have never, ever had the chance to connect with. So that's super cool. And I think like being able to- if we, with, like, if we put in the efforts. Right, but also like, it just, it does. It makes it a lot easier to connect with people outside of our small bubbles that we live in. Um, but also it can like consume us totally which it kind of is for me and this campaign because i am so 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 excited about making this story and starting this revolution and making sure that everyone has the opportunity to um just see what we're doing so if you guys want to know what we're doing check out the link that we've pinned and is also in the title of this um <laughs> yeah like somewhere on the screen i don't know where it is i, mean, I, I have know where no it is idea on my either. screen but <laughs> but yeah. hopefully you guys know if you look for it a little bit um so yeah i mean we just want to come on here and just talk about life and and talk about the things that we like and i want to show everybody who these amazing team members are i you know i made the um the video for the campaign and i was like it's just a bunch of me <laughs> so that's why i had everyone kind of like say hello in those you know cute little clips or whatever i wish there was more space um so we could talk about you guys and yeah colin these are people. four 
Thank you, Colin. We want this movie to happen too. It's not just about making a movie. It's about making art. It's about telling stories. It's about touching people um, in appropriate ways. It's about... <laughs> It's about creating community and creating opportunity for people who have not historically necessarily had a voice. Um, it's about representation and inclusion and diversity and equity, which if you guys don't know the difference between equity and equality, I would suggest looking that up just for your own good. You know, this is a political time that we're in. Um, I mean, I guess it should always kind of be a political Hi, time. Hi, Irina. So uh, 13,013. Wow, that's really cool. I love that number, 13,013. <laughs> Bring it. One, three, I wonder if we get 13131. That would be cool. So if anybody wants to help us get to 13131, <laughs> that would be lit. Go now. Go now and pledge if you if it's within your uh, budget or even